Hello. Praise Hello. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hope everybody's doing good. It's happening. Doing good. It's happening. Doing good. It's happening. Doing good. Glad to be here one more time. Glad to be here. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Be waiting a little bit more. Be waiting a little bit more. We don't have a chance to vlog. We don't have a chance to sit back down. Sit back down. I'm joining Sister Anna. I'm joining Sister Today. I'm joining Sister Anna. Today. I'm joining Sister Anna. Today. I'm joining Sister Anna. Today. 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 My name is Sister Dolores. Sister Dolores. Hello Nelson, praise the Lord. Hello Nelson, praise the Lord. First comment, first comment, first comment. First comment. First comment. First Thank you for joining us. First Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Again, being here. 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 Today's topic, today's topic is resilience. 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 So, um, if you're watching so, right now, if you're watching, so right now, you would like to share right what like resilience to you, write it down in the comments. Write it down in the comments. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? We'll take a moment to do that. 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 And again, we're glad to get you guys to be here with us. And here with us. And we're gonna start with a prayer. Before we start, before we start. Yeah, if you can bow your head, 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 you know, the Lord listens to your prayers, the Lord listens to your prayers, so let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be here one more time, 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 here one Talk in the 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 talk an echo. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, so, um, so again, the topic: resilience. Resilience. What is resilience? So, I'm going to read here what I have for resilience, and it says, "Okay, so there's a thumbs up, so they can hear us now. Good." Praise God. Okay. So resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness, to spring back into shape, the ability to withstand adversity, the ability to withstand hardships, to withstand um, when you're going through tough, a tough situation. So resilience, to resist. So we have... Um, they said, yes, the audio is repeating the voice. Okay. It's like 23 times. Okay. All righty. Praise the Lord. So we're going to try. Um, One more time. I'm going to try again. Let us know Amen. if anything is going on. Okay. I'm not sure if it's maybe, maybe it's the mics or, but, um. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try. Hopefully, it um, we can fix this. Okay. Amen. Okay. Just right. give us a thumbs up if if it sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, now. Yeah, sounds we have good a lot of thumbs awesome. up, so hopefully it, the sound is better now. We'll try to keep yes. it this way now. Praise God, and okay. we do apologize. Um, we're outside right now. So we apologize for like traffic, um, you know, loud music that you might hear in the background. But um, it's a little bit louder in my house. I have my two children in there <laughs> running around and, you know, singing, dancing, watching TV. So it was a little louder in there than it that, than out here. So, um, you know, we have to try to find wherever we can find space to to um, to share God's word. You know, and it's peaceful out here still. <laughs> you know, we have so. the birds. Amen. Okay, so Amen. I'm going to repeat that one more time just in case there was a lot of echo in the beginning. 
So resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness, to spring back into shape, the ability to withstand adversity, the ability to withstand hardships, the ability to withstand when you're going through a tough situation. So resilience is important because it gives people the strength needed to process and overcome hardships. Yeah, resilience, it's like a bounce back. Like there's a resilience theory also that says that it's the conceptual, conceptual, I think I pronounced it right, framework of understanding how someone or some individuals can bounce back in life after experiencing an adverse situation in a strength-focused approach. That means that, you know, you went through a hard situation and then you come back as in like, stronger than what you were before when you were going through that situation yes so um we just kind of want to think or give an example or if you have an example what's a situation that can tempt can can break your resilience our resilience our faith in god our walk in in the lord um we're talking about that resilience like um maintaining resilience in our faith and what we believe in so what's what are some situations that you can think of that can break that can you know so we have some a couple written down here but if you have more um please write them down in the comments so that we can also share them with everybody um so some of them can be everyday struggles they can be uh, our job our job can be our school, can be um, things that kind of like test our faith that, you know. Yeah, definitely. Like family mm-hmm. problems that you might think that, you know, everybody says that, you know, families are, there's a strong foundation in families and sometimes, you know, it's not true for everyone. And as children of God or children in general, they think, like, oh my God, like this is not what I thought it was going to be. It was going to be. And mm-hmm. yeah, um, also obviously at, at work too, sometimes, you know, if you are a server or something like that, some people are so rude and then resilience, you know, the ability of staying strong after all those comments given to you, you know, at work and then you come back home, but then you come, you know, you have to go back the next day to go work or back the next day to go to school. Mm-hmm. And you know, the ability to continue after all this hardship. It's yes. So also, there's also like um, setbacks that happen in your life, maybe. You know, sometimes we expect things to happen at a certain point in our life. Um, But it doesn't happen like that in every case. So some setbacks could be, you know, maybe we didn't, uh, maybe we didn't get married when we wanted to, you know. Right. You know, at, at the age that you know um people think or assume that we should get married you know um maybe we didn't get that promotion that we wanted to at the time that we wanted it so sometimes we see these things as you know oh they're setbacks in our lives and sometimes these these setbacks that we we put ourselves sometimes are the things that can break our resilience that's right and And our faith in god and sometimes we think that these are just punishment coming to us too and we're just like like I was telling you earlier that sometimes we see all these life situations that happen to us and we just think that they're just straight up um, punishments from God but you know one after the other but you're still standing and sometimes we don't think of what is the thing that's keeping me standing after all these things you know like let's say car accident you could have died and next thing you know you're still alive or uh, you know a bunch of things that could have happened but mm-hmm. you're still here like we're still standing we're still standing so what is that being that you know belief that's keeping us standing yes because we we are going to have a lot of um adversities the bible says that it's going to want to test our resilience um failures as well right you know failures pressure uh, that you know we we might have pressure from different um we can have pressure from school we can have pressure from our jobs 
stress, um, stress um, the, you know, right. to wanting to, to, there's just so much pressure out there from everywhere, from social media, you know, that you have to be a certain way, you have to look a certain way, um, that you have to act a certain way. Right. Mm -hmm. And if, if we start paying too much attention to that, it starts like making like these little cracks in, in us become bigger we, we, and, right? and it's like stretching us and 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 making these cracks in us that make us um it's, it's like breaking us little right. by little right mm -hmm. yeah. so um sickness is also you know when when somebody um becomes sick uh or they're giving a diagnostic you know diagnosis that um a sickness that has no cure let's say diagnosis of diabetes you know we yeah it's a sickness that it doesn't go away but it doesn't mean that you can't overcome it mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you can't you know live with it and be strong and surpass mm -hmm. that problem that adversity with resilience with a positive attitude and for most of us most of all with your faith yes so like a lot of these things that um you know not everybody can handle situations the same way that's right um yeah. some people can handle more difficult situations than others yeah. you know some some people can handle like many things happening to them you know and sometimes when it seems like when something wrong happens to you something else happens to you your your car breaks down your ac breaks down um you maybe you lost your job and then um the rent is due and you have so many adversity coming towards right you but other. sometimes that person is strong in their faith and they're like you know what god's going to take care of me i'm going to have a job this is going to be fixed god's going to provide but then you also have in the other hand um other people that I don't know, like, let's just say, for example, their boyfriend or girlfriend of, of uh, two weeks breaks up with them. And, you know, life is over. <laughs> it's like, you know, like life yeah. is over for them. It's like a disaster and, and, and they're struggling. And right. so everybody doesn't um, take adversity the same way. Yeah. Not everybody is as resilient. That's true as yeah. you are and sometimes mm -hmm. people also tend to focus too much on the problem that they don't see that they're able to be resilient and overcome it too um there's a quote said by um david uh el emerald i think it is it says what you focus on expands focusing on problems creates more problems focusing on outcomes create solutions so sometimes mm -hmm. you know we might be facing a problem at the time and we're just focusing too much on it that it's just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger like let's say the car broke down and you're like oh my god my life is over when let's say you're you don't think of the solution of you know thinking out of the box and saying oh my god my neighbor is a mechanic i can just ask my neighbor like oh can you come and help me but you just focus too much on the car broke down and like, you can't go to work anymore, you can't go to school, like nothing's gonna, mm -hmm. you, you're not gonna go, you know, overcome that and you're just gonna stay stuck there and after that you're just like, you know what, throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. So that, ha you know, that sadly that happens a lot and um, that's why it's good to, to kind of like look out for one another and be there for each other. Yeah, you know, right. when somebody needs help to help them. Um, there are many examples in the Bible of um, of persons in the Bible who had a lot of resilience. Oh, yeah. I don't know if um, if anybody right. can think of one. Think of a person in the Bible who who resisted a lot of hardships. Um, does if anybody has an example? Please share it with us. Do you have an example, Anna? Um, let's see. There's so many in the Bible, you know, so like I, I'm not going to name them. I will let you guys name some of them. But my example would be Job. 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 And, you know, if you don't know the story of Job, oh, my God, you should read it. Um, yes. It has 42 chapters, but just in the first chapter, a lot happened to this man, like so much. And it's just in the first chapter. 
and you know basically he was a wealthy man he had everything everything and next thing you know the devil went to god and he was like you know what i feel like if i take some of your the stuff that he has i know that he's gonna curse you or stuff like that and then god was like all right let's see and next thing you know he started losing his land his properties um his goods his family as well and his response to all that like it was right right after the others you can you can read here that one servant was coming in and said oh my god you just lost this like fire went down you know to a place and burn everything down and then another server would come back and they would say oh my god there was a big wind and blew out um your son's house and then destroyed them and they were on you know they got buried under it and then mm -hmm. another server came and then right after the other like in one day and this man was so resilient so strong in his faith that he said naked i came from a mother's womb and naked i would depart the Amen. lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Just the beginning. He had a lot of resilience, you know, everything that he went through. Yeah, after that, yeah. it was even, he just kept going down the drain, but he never cursed because he was so strong. Like maybe everything was falling apart. Like that picture that um, we had posted previously of the topic today, you can see that threat just you about know, to yeah tear, like about to it's break like that rope holding onto that one threat and i believe that this was Job too mm -hmm. like everything was falling apart but that little threat it i picture it as his faith so strong he maintained God. his faith to the very end to the very end mm -hmm. there's another example um we have someone here that mentioned job as well someone okay. who had a lot of resilience job um Another one is Moses. Moses was another person in the Bible who had a lot of resilience as well. He was leading 600,000 men, but this wasn't including like the women and children and all the animals. Wow. So imagine how, how, how much more. He had so much pressure on him as a leader. He had many complaints. You know, the people like, well, why'd you bring me here? We were better off over there. This is all your fault. Yeah. You know, I could have been over there eating my bean soup, but I'm here in the desert, hungry, starving, you know, nowhere to go. I'm tired. I sure. just want to go home. <laughs> um, he went through, there was rebellion. They rebelled. Oh, yeah. There was betrayed. He was betrayed as well. He had a lot of stress. Um, he just overloaded with work. That's but true. Moses kept on. Moses, never, you know, resisted. He never walked away. You know, he trusted in God and he faithfully led God's people into the promised land. He had the confidence that was needed. He had the faith, which is very important. Our faith. Our faith. He was wise. He, he followed um, guidance. He followed God's guidance. So he was very wise. So all these like characteristics is what made him resist made him resilience you know that yeah. all the, especially the his faith in, in god that he was going to overcome all this so he did it yeah he did it he got god's people to the promised land but he went through a lot as well yeah and, and um some people you know have the mentality or thought that christianity is always happiness and and it's you not, know not always every single story in the bible you see that there's always a hardship but that faith you know gave them the strength to continue mm -hmm. and not only continue but at the end there was a reward yes like especially with dope like he lost everything but at the end because god was like you were so faithful he got triple as much as he had before you know so always it's it's to think like there's always a reward at the end of the hardship you know yes. there's the light at the end of that tunnel you, you know, there's there. a verse that, um, you know, there be, might be sadness, but joy will come in the morning. You might right. be down. You might be going through something right now that is difficult and it's bringing us down is bringing you down. But it's not going to stay like that forever. Right. God knows to our God knows our breaking point. You yeah, know, definitely. he knows our breaking point and he's not going to let us, uh, you know, he's not going to let us fall. He's, he's going to be there with us the whole time. 
and we're going to get through it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody has like a, a testimony they would like to share with us of something that they went through um, in their Christian walk with God, but they overcame it. Um, I know uh, my mom's watching and um, my parents, you know, they're watching and, you know, they have an awesome testimony that um, my brother and I are a part of as well because we went through that many years ago and um, so I, I don't want to like give you know say it all in detail because it's very long so maybe one day they can share it with us their testimony yeah. but you know my mom went through a very um, a, a long year of being sick hardship um, our family we lost our home, so we became homeless. Wow. Um, my dad sometimes had a job, sometimes he didn't. You know, my mom was in pain day and night, night and day, for a whole year. And it was tough. It was very tough. And I was only, at that age, my brother was a baby. <laughs> and I was only nine years old. Wow. But at that young age, I remember every night before going to sleep, I would fall asleep. Uh, massaging my mom's back because she had like she had a lot of pain so I remember massaging her back at night and 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 praying to God to please heal her heal her and I would fall asleep like that so it was a very tough year for all of us but that made at the end that made us stronger in the Lord it, it took our faith to a different level and instead of giving up, we could have said, you know what? God is not with us. He's not providing for us. Um, he, he's, it's been too long. You know, it's not answering our prayers. Right. We could have just walked away and say, you know what? We give up. Right. Mm -hmm. But I thank God that he gave the resilience, the faith to my parents to withstand all of this. And through yeah. prayer and fasting, through their faith in God, you know, and also action, because we also right. took action, and we, we did move from one place to another, and we tried everything, um, so it also takes action on our part, but all this combined, um, God was the glue that kept us together, our faith in Christ, and that was about 30 years ago, that was 30 years ago that this happened, and we are still here for the honor and glory of God, serving yeah. God with all our hearts. Yeah. And every day, every day we get a, a, a text message at night from our parents. Praise God. Um, pray to God. God bless you all and thank God for everything, you know. Right. So because we went through a difficult hardships and even even so now, I'm sure everybody's gone through something as the years gone by. You know, we've all gone through something. And um, I'm sure everybody's experience is, is different, but true. resilience, the important resilience, is not keeping to your let faith, go, right? Don't Have let go that resilience because yes. I've heard many stories of, um, you know, of people or families that, you know, they were strong in the faith. And next thing you know, they um, they had a difficult situation going on and then they let go of God. And after that, instead of like being able to. Um, continue and keeping that strength they were just getting weaker and weaker everything starting the problem starting to get bigger everything became a disaster in the family and all these go things going on but because they didn't have the they didn't have the um, strength that was keeping them together they didn't have the faith the resilience anymore because they let go of it mm -hmm. you know and after a while you know after they were done with all the things going on in their life they said you know I'm going to put up my part and go and go to God because God is there you know through your hardship God is there he's just waiting yes. on you to hold on to him and he will bring you out yes. of that problem that seems so big but yet it is so small yes. compared to God compared to God mm -hmm. it's so small creator of the universe amen yeah so keeping that faith that resilience in him is what for us Christian, it's our motivation to keep going. It's our strength because 
I know that I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. Mm. And through these life stories of so many other people, they did say that they couldn't do it on their own. They tried to after they let go of God, but then they had to come back. They had to come back because that, they said that was the only way they could go through these situations, these problems, and they were able to overcome them after they said, you know what, I'm not letting go of God. I'm not letting go. I'm not letting this faith go anymore. Don't let it go. We have a comment here that says, I always remember Job when I went through all the rough times of sickness and it gave me strength. Amen. Wow. So, you know, sometimes when, when you hear somebody else's testimony, somebody else's story, what they went through and how they overcame, that gives you hope. Yeah. So this is why this is why it's so important to share your testimony, share what you've been through, so that somebody else can have hope. Well, you yeah, know, definitely. So that they can have hope and say, you know what, if they went through that and they overcame it, so can I. Exactly, and you know, not only because of what you went through, but they also want to know, like, what is their belief that they went through it with so much strength? How did you overcome it? How did what you What did you do? It? Yeah, what is that strength? Where is the strength coming from? Mm -hmm. It's, you know, another thing. And yes. what is the resilience com like, where is the resilience, resilience coming from? Mm -hmm. And, you know, as Christians especially, we have to share this even more because it's not only that we know, we feel it and we go through it and we overcome it because, you know, it. Yeah. We just, you can feel it in your bones. You can feel it in your bones. <laughs> There's a, a verse in the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9 says, We are afflicted in every way, every way, mm. but we're not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken. Mm. We're struck down, but we're not destroyed. Wow. That's a, that's a powerful verse. Um, there's also another verse in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. I don't know if you could read it in Spanish. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. All right. That says, I'll read it in English and then you can read it in Spanish. It says, And after you have suffered a little while, it, it says here, a little while. So, you know, God is already telling us that we're not going to suffer for a lifetime. It says, after you have suffered a little while the God of all grace because we serve a gracious God who has grace on us who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore he's going to restore you confirm he's going to strength give you strength and he's going to establish you I like what it says here he will restore because a lot of times people think you know once once they've been through something and maybe maybe they didn't resist right. and they broke away or or they left or, or they think um they messed up a lot of times people think that you know they cannot be restored again mm. but we serve a god that can make you new he can restore you he yeah. can put your life back together again Amen. So you want to read it in Spanish? Yeah, we're going to read it in Spanish. And it says, Al cual resistid firmes en la fe, sabiendo que los mismos padecien, padecimientos se van cumpliendo en vuestros hermanos en, el, en todo el mundo. Mas el Dios de toda gracia, que nos llamó a su gloria eterna en Jesucristo, después de que hayáis padecido un poco de tiempo, el mismo os perfecciona, Afirme, fortalezca y establezca. Amen. So, again, sometimes we think that because we are broken, that God cannot restore us again. But he can. He can make us new again. This is why it's so important to never give up on a person that, to our view, to our thoughts, has no hope. You know, sometimes we look at someone and like, that person is hopeless. Or, you know, they have no hope. They're never going to get better. But we as Christians, we should always 
maintain hope. We should always believe in that person, that God can do something in that person. Amen. God can restore the person because we serve a God that has the final say. We don't have the final say. You know, yeah. God has the final say. And where we see broken, God sees restore. God sees new. God sees forgiven. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's one more verse I have here. Oh, I also have a verse actually. Go ahead. Yeah. We're going to let uh, Anna read her verse. So this verse in Proverbs 24, 16, um, like I was telling you guys earlier, mm -hmm. you know, we as Christian, we also go through tribulations, but because we hold on to God, we're able to overcome and come back. And I'm, you know, not just saying mm -hmm. it because I'm just saying it out of the blues. You know, we went through these situations and in the Bible, they tell us about it. See, in Proverbs 24, 16 says, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. The righteous, which is us. But the wicked stumble when calamity mm -hmm. strikes. So, mm -hmm. wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Calamity strikes. I like that way it says that the righteous will fall seven times, you know. Sometimes we fall one time and they're like, this is it. You know, I can't no more. That's it. I already, um, I give up. I give up, you know, but it says there are at least seven times. <laughs> so it's going to, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be falling down, but getting up, falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up, resisting. Yeah. This is life. You know, mm -hmm. We're all going to go through it. Not just, you know, the world wheels. You know, sometimes it, it says like, sometimes we're, we're in the, um, in the valley. Yeah. Valley of the shadows. Sometimes we're in the valley, but other times we're on top of the mountain. Amen. So we're going to yeah. have our highs up and lows, and downs. up and yeah, downs. Up and downs. Amen. Uh, we have another verse. We, we, I just love to share, like, Bible verses. You, yeah, you know? like, me too. Because it's like, we don't even have to explain it. Like, the Bible itself explains it for us, you yeah. know? So and it's been here for millions of years, and it's still relevant to what we're going through right now as well. So it's like... Mount blowing to me. Yeah, you know? same here. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, so like sometimes I say all these things and I and then I look back to the Bible and I'm like, it's here too. Like, like what? What? And I'm like, I don't remember reading this verse like this and like you know, but yeah. like what? It read like, my mind. The Bible read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> when like this was here the whole time. Like exactly. and I'm just now reading it. Exactly. Like, yeah. Um, Romans eight thirty five. Okay, so it says, oh, this would be a good one to read in Spanish too. Okay, Romans 8.25? <laughs> Romans 8.35. 8, 35, all right. I, I really like this verse. It, it just gives so much hope. Romans 8.35. Does anybody know what Romans 8.35 says? <laughs> Let us know. Okay, so it says, Romans 8.35 says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And it's got a question mark because it's asking us a question. So ask yourself, who is separating you from the love of Christ? It could be a who. It could be what. You know, what. It could be a person. It could be, um, like, who. It could be our job. It could be our school. Your situations. Situations, problems, problems sickness. What? what is separating us from the love of Christ? Is there anything that is separating you right now from the love of Christ? So just think about that for a second. What is separating you from giving your full heart, 100%, not just 50% or not just maybe one day out of the week right. type of love, right. but what is separating you? What is stopping you from giving God, you know, all the love, your all, all yeah. your all? So it says, what should separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation separate us? Wow. You know, when we're going through hard times, difficult situations. Is that a motive to separate from God? Or distress? Mm. Perse persecution? Or famine? Or nakedness? You know, when whenever we don't have, whenever we don't have food, clothing, a house, you know, these can be um, factors. situations, factors that can really, like, have a big part. An impact. An impact in our life. And, and 
that a lot of times can separate us, you know, because like I said in the beginning, not everybody has the same resilience, right. you know, not everybody has the same resilience. And sometimes these factors can play a big part in, in whether somebody resists in, in their faith in Christ or pearl or sword, it says here, what can separate us? Uh-huh. All right. In Spanish, it says, ¿Quién nos separará del amor de Cristo? Tribulación o angustia, persecución o hambre, o desnudez, o peligro o espada? ¿Quién? Uh-huh. Like, like here, it's, it's, it's funny that, you know, it mentions also persecution because in this era and this time that Paul was writing to the Romans, they were going through persecution like they were killing them you know they're mm-hmm. like they were literally had to hide to worship god to have that peace they had to hide imagine yes. that and we're, no, we're right now we're right now we're we're blessed right now definitely we are very blessed right now we're very lucky because there are other countries other parts of the world right now that are going through you know persecution Still, they're going through yeah. um war you know they're going through a lot of things right now and it's not easy it's yeah, not easy not overcoming um but you know resilience maintaining our faith in god that everything at the end is going to be okay it's going to be okay you know because god knows god knows what he's doing yeah god knows what he's doing and it also says that the bible i don't remember exactly what book of the bible but it says god doesn't put you through trials that you cannot overcome yes so yeah obviously life is going to happen trials and tribulations problems anything's going to happen but god doesn't let you go through it on your own god mm-hmm. doesn't let you go through it without his help or without you not being able to overcome it because you have that resilience in you you yes. have that faith in you so it's like when it says if you know if you pass through the waters you will not drown you know even if you don't know how to swim but if you pass through the waters god is not going to let you drown if yeah. you pass um through fire he's not gonna, it's not going to consume you it's not going to burn you Exactly. God is going to be there for you. Yeah, there's, I've heard many testimonies of people saying that, you know, I try to take my life away and nothing happened. They tried so many times and they were still alive. They were, you know, God was keeping them alive. Mm-hmm. You know, God was keeping them from getting harmed. You know, yes. and God doesn't let you go through those situations. God doesn't want you to, you know, go through that anything because he has a purpose he had a purpose for you and yeah definitely a poor purpose a reward at the end because you know many people go through a bunch of situations that you yourself did not put your put you know yourself into like you didn't put yourself into Mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that god doesn't have a a reward at the end god is there god wants you to hold into him with that resilience that strength because he has it for you and you will overcome it yes and this is not a promise that we're making that is vague it's not because it happens god is there yes we've seen it many times you know many times you know we've heard people um been through accidents that they shouldn't be alive you know but god rescued them yeah you know and they're alive so you know god has a purpose you know, he, he, he's that one thing that keeps us going, that one thing that keeps Amen. us together, that gives us the strength, you know, that gives us the strength like, um, like the, like, the, like of an eagle. Yeah. Rise mm-hmm. up as an, e- like mm-hmm. an eagle. Like she was saying, there's many people that could have died in car accidents and everything. Like my dad was an example of that. He, he, um, he got in a big, it was in a bus, you know, he was in a bus and they got in a big crash and him and the guy driving were the most um how do you say that like injured Mm they my dad could have died there but you know the lord kept him alive and up to this day he's still out there serving people serving the lord and he's still here with us and i praise god for having him here because I don't know yes. what I would have done. You know, it's important for us to celebrate these victories, you know. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, you know, right now we're at a time that more than ever we need to have resilience in our faith. Because 
just now more than ever, there's so many things going on, so many things out there that is going to want to come and test your faith, test yeah. your resilience, you know. Um, Not only, you know, the COVID going around, yes. but there's, apart from that, I know that it's it's just hard to adapt to new what they call it the new normality and not only that but day after day listening to the news oh there's no more gas and oh this is happening too it's it's just yes. overwhelming at times too so, you know we now than ever we need resilience in our faith because tougher times are coming ahead yeah. you know tougher times are coming ahead so it's not gonna not necessarily things are gonna get easier so yeah now more than ever guard your faith be resilient you know mm, you have to believe if you believe in god you have to defend your faith you have yeah. to defend it you have to believe Amen. in it because if you don't if you don't defend your faith or if you don't um believe in it a hundred percent if you're not willing to to go above and beyond you know then then what good is it What's the point? What's the point? What's the point all these years? Exactly. You know? Yeah. So you, you have to have, that's one thing you should never let go of is your faith in, in Jesus Christ. Maintain Amen. it to the very end. You know, sometimes we, we hear we hear people speaking, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. You might get criticized, you know, for what you're doing, for what you're not doing, for what you're saying, for what you're not saying. Right. Um, yeah. You should act a certain way you shouldn't act a certain way and a lot of times this can bring pressure on, on certain people That's true. Yeah. and but if we let all all this going on all the noise all the comments get to yeah. us you know and if, if you're not resilient enough that can break you that is true that can break you mm -hmm. but if you know in whom you believed you you know what god gave you you know what your purpose is then that's all you need to continue yeah. you know that's true. your resilience your faith in god you know there there are many characteristics of of, of a person that has resilience mm. and some of them are it's a person that has self-esteem that's true yeah um a person that can adapt to change and that's very important oh, definitely. adapting to change nowadays especially adapting to adapting change to everything that's going on in the mm -hmm. world because it's not gonna get any better <laughs> that people say but you know it could if you yes. resist if you have that resilience in you but adapting to the change that's a very that's important a very one important one because obviously everything is evolving everything is changing now with the generation also and when you have that to it you're able to overcome like problems and situations that might not be even too big you know mm -hmm. to go through yes uh, another one is keeping you a strong faith oh, keeping a strong faith definitely that's a that's a big one another one is another characteristic um asking for help when needed that's that's another one yeah because keeping it in to yourself might instead of helping you, you might drown you too there's many people that can extend hands also you know god mm -hmm. sent us to be his messengers right see yes. to to spread the gospel and that's what we're here for so, to be a light in the world exactly mm -hmm. so if there's if you're going through a situation you're not going through it alone you you don't have to go through it alone you don't have to yeah no if no. you know somebody that can help you talk don't keep mm -hmm. it in don't drown ask, yourself ask for help you know if, if you need um i don't know you maybe you're maybe you don't have food for for, for or, you know for the day for, the day, for your kids you know don't let your kids go hungry like if, if you need help um whether it's maybe if it's even just talking to somebody you yeah, know maybe. moral support exactly yeah um, definitely asking for help that's that's a big characteristic that um a person who's resilient will have they'll know when they need help yeah you know and who who to get it from and who that's to get important it, that's as well that's a very important one because yeah you might have friends but are they giving you that best advice mm -hmm. you know that's the question you need to know exact who your friends are as well yes you know you you may have some that will give you advice but 
would it lead you to the road that you you are expecting to would it lead you to the peace that you want you know? yes will lead you to that strength that you need amen another one is patience having patience it's very it's an important one having yeah. patience having tolerance having peace amen. having peace so that reminds me um the fruit of the spirits oh you know yeah. a person who's resilient if you have the holy spirit in you you're gonna have the fruits of the spirit you know love joy peace patience, kindness gentleness self-control you're going to have all this and all these all this food of the spirit they're going to give you resilience they're going to make you stronger and overcoming things in life Definitely, yeah. um there's a quote here that says life doesn't get easier or more forgiving we get stronger and more resilient wow so life doesn't get easier but when you go when you go through the fire, you know when when you pass a, a diamond through the fire, it's getting molded, it's getting shaped, it becomes something beautiful once it's passed through the fire. So the yeah. same as a a, a a a clay, those have had that have had um, pottery class. Oh. You know when you're building, when you're making something out of clay, what what do you do with it? You you first mm -hmm. put it into a bundle, try to smash it together, hit it and then try to mold it with your hands after a while it gets put into the fire it's put into the fire into the furnace not to hurt it you know you know to make it stronger strong to make it hard to make it a strong foundation so that it can become something useful once it's out of that fire yeah and if if if, if whatever you're making breaks the the maker which is god he'll just make a new one he'll restore you he'll make you fix you he Actually, restore you yeah, again as a because uh, i remember when i had that those ceramics class there there's points that the teacher would tell us you know what if there's something that you don't like break it and you can make mm -hmm. it again make it again and make it even better yes like we can break something that's already like rust rusted not form you know correctly form weird break it mold it put it into the furnace again to the fire and it comes out even better. Yes. Even better. Even so. better. So, you know, there's, um, okay, well, I have that one. But I want to end with um, this verse that, ha that says, it's Philippians 4.13. And I love this verse because it gives me hope. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. How do you say that in Spanish? Todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. Amen. Filipenses 4, 13. Yes. <laughs> so I can in Christ who strengthens me. Um, you know, God just gives us... There's so many passages in the Bible that... Um, where God is speaking and, and, and verses that gives us hope. That no matter what we're going through, God will give us the strength to continue. He will give us the strength to to go on, Amen. what no matter what what the situation is. Like we Amen. said earlier, God doesn't let us go through a situation that we cannot overcome. Overcome, and that strength that we as Christians hold on to is our faith, and through our faith we are able to be resilient mm -hmm. through these hardships, through these situations. And I encourage you if you're going through a situation like better than ever is seeking God <laughs> holding yes. on to him <laughs> because I know like I try to do it on my own sometimes you know whenever I was like ah, I'm going through this I, I can do it I can do it and then next thing you know I'm broken down and then I'm like you know God I'm just kidding I can't, <laughs> I can't <you laughs> help know? me because <laughs> I you know I've, I've never gone through a situation that I can do it on my own I always at the end I you know, I'm so stubborn. <laughs> I hope at the end have to go back to God. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know I can't do it on my own. Yeah, we, we've all been through that. I think where we, we, we're kind of stubborn sometimes. Like, I got this. I can do this on my own, you know. Right, yeah. <laughs> and at the end, we're like, I'm just kidding. I can't. You know, we're crying. and um, Balling our eyes. Oh, my yes. God. And like, I can't. Like, you know, God is like, he just so amazes me that like, 
he proves to us like I told you, you I know, I you. I'm here, I'm the one that can do this for you. I can help you. You know, just put your faith in me. God is that glue that keeps us together. Exactly. Um, he's yeah. that um what's another example? Um he's that gorilla glue, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that it sticks us together. And yes. Man, try to get those once, things once, once you're connected uh-huh. with God, your faith is connected with God. You become so resilient that you know things will come at you. You know the enemy will try to throw situations at you, but they're just gonna bounce off right at you know from you. They're gonna bounce off because you're gonna be connected to the Creator. You're gonna be connected to the One that that molded you who made you you know he's he's there holding you upright making sure that um you know nothing breaks you and not only that but you know like you said he's the creator so he has the instructions to go through life yes and you know in he like in his word he has our guidance as well because you know he didn't make these people go through these situations just for us to say ah yeah whatever yeah mm-hmm. what not like because up to up to day like up to today we're still going through these situations as well they're not you know the same as back in the day because now we have more technology or whatnot yes. but we, the same things that they went through we're going through yes and same it's same emotions yes yeah, same, same um hardships same you know, hardships situations like they may not be exact same thing mm-hmm. but they're similar stuff and they have our guide like god just gave us like our guidance right here yes. and not only that but you know it says ask and y'all shall receive yes so if you ask god please you know lead me to the way help me this help me that like can you help me through this situation like you shall receive yes and as and us as christians we are gonna pass you know everybody passes through hard situations hardships everybody passes through something that you know can sometimes become overbearing you know but sometimes you know they're necessary they are necessary in order for us to grow spiritually sometimes sorry the noise (laughs) sometimes you know they are necessary that we pass through certain things in life because God wants to show us something sometimes God wants to take us from one point in our life to another point and sometimes through that we must go through the valley you know we can't always like skip from this mountain to that mountain and always be on the top That's you know true. we are yeah. gonna pass through through the valleys you know we are gonna pass through hard times and you know when we do if you're passing right now through a moment in your life where you're going through something you know just ask yourself okay you know what what is god what is god um trying trying to you know what is god trying to show me you know and and think okay i'm going to get through this because i have faith in god and i know who i believe in and god is going to have something for me at the end of this i'm after i pass through this you know i can't wait to see what god has in store for me because i know god always blesses us you know so he always has something for us amen so So. yeah especially what you were saying like sometimes we have to go through this situation not because you know of punishment but because this is making us stronger you know a person Mm -hmm. let's say starting with like weights you know your your body's hurting your body's going through this soreness after you do a first workout but then the next two days you have to increase you know your weights yes. and everything and there's more soreness but this You're soreness like, no, at first I know, yeah I, was like, I i i died the first day when i, went I can't there. do this. i can't do this no more <laughs> and then the coach kept on saying like you have to go through this in order to become stronger for the muscles to grow and you can lift even more and you can get higher 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 and yes. it's the same thing you know through our situation problems we they say we must go through it mm-hmm. to become stronger. To become stronger, you must go through hard times to become stronger. And mm-hmm. this we, you know, sadly we can't avoid. But at the same time, we know, like you said, who's our creator. We know, we know that we have that foundation that will keep us standing still. Yes, he's the rock. 
yeah. he's the rock he's the foundation that keeps your whole house together he's he's the you know if you have christ you're firm in your in in, in your faith in him he's going to restore your house he's going to restore your family he's going to restore your sons and daughters he's going to restore your mother and your father he's going to restore that unity that that we need in christ okay. he's going to restore that sometimes it might not be right away but you know we have to be strong especially in him because rewards at the end there's always a reward amen we have another comment here and it says pick your pick ourselves up we need to pick ourselves up as many times as it takes failure is not falling down but refusing to get up so never quit wow so you know we have to learn from our mistakes from our failures yeah and rise up get up and and try again exactly but never quit never quit amen thank you sister for sharing that with us thank you for being with us here tonight as well yes and we you know we we enjoyed to tonight's you know talk and i hope we have more of this you know yes. oh, later on and we can share more about what god is in for us you know what christianity is in certain situations like problems and how we can become resilient yes. through our problems yes it's so, so it's like you know we said it, it's it's not always easy you know um you know we've all gone through hard things in life and but we've overcame them overcoming things one day at a time tomorrow will be another day tomorrow you know tomorrow god is going to do something new tomorrow Mm -hmm. you know while we're alive we're breathing while we're awake there's always a new opportunity to change there's always a new opportunity to do something different um never give up never give up try something different and if you haven't um seat god you tried everything else and you haven't seek god we encourage you to to seek our lord jesus christ who is going to restore you renew you give her that strength and that peace that you're looking for that nobody else can give nothing else can give but only only him he will make us new he will make us strong he will make us resilient amen amen so with that being said you know, I want to ask Sister Lolly, we can, you know, dismiss us in prayer. Amen. So let's bow our heads. Let's close our eyes. Um, let's connect for a minute and, and, and just thank God for everything that he's doing and everything that he's done. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to be here this afternoon, God, to, for allowing us to speak your word, Jesus. We ask that you continue to guide us, that you continue to help us, Jesus, so that we can learn more and more about you, Lord, and that we can be a help to someone else out there that might need it, Jesus. At this moment, we ask for anybody that is going through a tough situation, anybody that's going through a, a tough moment in their life, Lord, you know the situation. We might not know what they're going through, but you are the creator of each and every one of us. Therefore, you know everything that they're going through, Jesus. Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you bless them, that you be with them, that you help them, God. And everything going on right now in this world, Lord Jesus, we ask that you unite us as Christians, that you make us our resilient, Jesus, so that we can unite and that we can be a help to one another, that we can be our help to our brothers and our sisters, that we can be a help to the poor, that we can be a help to those that without any parents without any home that we can be a church god that can go out and help jesus god we ask that you unite us that you guide us that you be our guiding light lord jesus for we are we are learning each day so we are your vessels god but we want to be used by you and we want to do better each and every day lord give us the strength to continue no matter the adversities that might come to us this week this weekend or maybe tomorrow but we know that joy will come in the morning lord and that you have a reward for us jesus we give you all the honor and all the glory in jesus name we believe this in jesus name we pray amen amen
Amen. Amen. We want to so, thank you, Sister Lonely, for oh, being here, joining me tonight. Thank you. And thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. So we should do this again. Yes. <laughs> and yes. we want to thank all of you guys who have been watching us. And for those who will watch, God bless you. And we will see you next yes. in two weeks. Have a blessed weekend. Stay safe. And be resilient. God bless. God bless you.